Welcome to Top 10 Travel, where we explore the best destinations and experiences the world has to offer. With so many wonderful places to visit in this big world of ours, picking the best travel spot can be a daunting task. To help today, we'll be showcasing the 10 best places to visit in California. If you love discovering new places, cultures, and adventures, make sure to hit the subscribe button and join our community of travelers and be notified of our new weekly videos. For additional information and ideas to help you during your next trip, be sure to check out the links in the description below. So now let's dive into our top 10 list. Number 10, San Diego. Together with the scrumptious Mexican cuisine, vibrant nightlife, and one of the nation's favorite zoos, San Diego's year-round sunny weather and 70 miles of spectacular coastline attract sunbathers and athletes both. The beaches are another option. Go surfing at Mission Beach, sunbathing at La Jolla, and taking a leisurely stroll along the coast at Coronado. Moreover, San Diego is the location of some of the top California tours, such as fishing charters, boat tours, and whale watching trips. Pockets of vibrant nightlife can be found all around the city when you're ready to trade in your flip-flops and board shorts for more formal wear, particularly close to the historic Gaslamp District. Number 9. Napa Valley after a visit to Napa Valley in the 1880s, writer Robert Louis Stevenson pronounced, wine is bottled poetry. You'll see this quote as you pass the area's landmark sign on US Highway 29. Unfortunately, Stevenson was referring to French wine, what Napa vintners should aspire to. But as the film Bottle Shock documents, California wineries have since risen to the level of their European predecessors. Now, both connoisseurs and amateurs savor the respected vintages from Napa. Whatever your level of expertise, a guided tour can assist in your quest to visit the top Napa Valley wineries. Number 8. Santa Monica Do what the locals do and travel west to Santa Monica when you need a break from the hectic Los Angeles. This upscale California coastal hamlet provides a nice escape from the congestion of its big city neighbor and is easily reached from Los Angeles via major thoroughfares like Santa Monica Boulevard and the Santa Monica Freeway, a section of Interstate 10. Beautiful Santa Monica State Beach and the welcoming Santa Monica Pier may be found on Santa Monica's western side, which also houses the city's other two primary attractions. The iconic beach and pier at this location are just the beginning, though. Walk away from the sand to cycle the picturesque Marvin Broad Beach Trail and unwind in Santa Monica's lovely parks. Or indulge in some retail therapy and people watching at the 3rd Street Promenade before grabbing a bite to eat at a renowned restaurant in the area. You'll feel it comfortable in Santa Monica, no matter how you choose to pass the time. Number 7. Lake Tahoe. Amazing, astonishing, perplexing. Despite your best efforts, it will be difficult to capture the breathtaking grandeur of Lake Tahoe in words. An estimated 15 million people visit Lake Tahoe each year, which is located on the border of California and Nevada. Being one of the most picturesque bodies of water in the United States, Lake Tahoe is known for its high granite cliff sides, towering mountaintops, and crystal clear waters that entice tourists. Even though the gorgeous Blue Lake is reason enough to visit, the Lake Tahoe region's surroundings also provide some of the best skiing in North America, miles of hiking trails, and hundreds of picturesque viewpoints. Number 6. San Francisco San Francisco is a jumbled mosaic of vibrant districts and breathtaking views that attracts folks who are adventurous, free-spirited, and have an eye for edgy art. Tony Bennett leaving his heart here is truly not surprising. There are lots of activities to keep you occupied in this city, which offers jaw-dropping scenery, top-notch cuisine, comfortable cafes, and a thriving nightlife. Spend a couple of hours relaxing on the beach next to sea lions, taking in the cityscape from Twin Peaks, or taking a leisurely stroll around the marina. And for a truly San Franciscan experience, take a cable car ride or board a boat trip to sail beneath the Golden Gate Bridge. After following the masses to the popular Fisherman's Wharf neighborhood, which offers breathtaking views of Alcatraz, go down the water to the Presidio to catch a sight of the renowned Golden Gate Bridge. Don't forget to set aside some time to visit the Castro, the Haight, and the Mission District, though, to experience the city's many distinct neighborhoods. And if you want a day of relaxation away from the city, go on one of San Francisco's top wine tours. Number 5. Los Angeles all of its cliches are reinforced and demolished in Los Angeles. 
Although it is a sizable metropolis with incessantly jammed freeways, it also has some of the most diverse and distinctive communities in the country. In addition to famous art galleries like the Los Angeles County Museum of Art and Architectural Wonders, like the Getty Center, La La Land is brimming with the glitz of upscale Hollywood name brands and backdrops from movie sets. Los Angeles, home to the largest visual entertainment industry in the world, gives visitors access to the film and television production process at facilities including Paramount Picture Studios and Warner Bros. Studio. In addition, the City of Angels offers some of the most diverse food in the nation, as well as a variety of highly regarded dining establishments. Away from the redeveloped downtown, the beaches of Malibu and Santa Monica offer surf, sand, and sun, while Venice Beach offers up-close views of the city's most distinctive citizens. The Angeles National Forest and Griffith Park both provide additional outdoor activities like hiking. Number 4. Yosemite Yosemite National Park is home to nearly 1,200 square miles of utter awe, including some of the most extraordinary rock formations in the entire United States, towering waterfalls, centuries-old sequoia trees, striking, intimidating cliff faces, and one of California's most formidable natural landscapes. Nonetheless, the majority of the tourism activity is concentrated in the 8-square-mile Yosemite Valley region, despite the park's immense size. Half Dome and El Capitan, two of the park's most recognizable features, are located here, along with some of the best hiking paths in the area. Number 3. Monterey Every other region in California differs from the Monterey Peninsula. Here, time passes more slowly, the homes in Pebble Beach are the exception to the modest architecture, and the way of life is the ideal fusion of northern sophistication and southern California laid-backness. While Carmel by the Sea attracts the laid-back wealthy crowd farther south, Monterey pulls the majority of tourists to the northern half of the peninsula. Massive real estate prices contribute to the preservation of the small-town atmosphere along Monterey's breathtaking coastline. Number 2. Big Sur Big Sur is more than simply a place, it's a way of life. The distant location, serene environment, and unparalleled beauty of Big Sur, which stretches 90 miles between Monterey Bay and San Simeon on the west coast of Central California, tempt visitors to shift gears both metaphorically and literally. The major route that passes through the area and turns into the most picturesque part of Big Sur is Pacific Coast Highway, which was constructed less than 100 years ago. The roadway winds in and out of the seemingly infinite coastline while perched high above the waves and clinging to the edge of the local cliffs, offering breathtaking vistas. Despite its challenging driving conditions, Big Sur has a tranquil culture that draws people from all walks of life looking for inspiration, solace, or transformation. According to his book, Big Sur, Jack Kerouac traveled to Big Sur in pursuit of inner serenity. Henry Miller, a fellow author, referred to Big Sur as the first location in America where he truly felt at home. Miller later wrote the memoir Big Sur and the Oranges of Hieronymus Bosch. Number 1. Laguna Beach Californian fantasies are made of Laguna Beach. This picturesque location offers visitors cascading, verdant hillsides, stunning coastal parks, and isolated beaches. These are just a few of the numerous characteristics that make this Southern California location special, along with its small-town culture and historical art scene. Also, accessing it is quite simple. Laguna Beach is ideally placed along Pacific Coast Highway and is midway between San Diego and Los Angeles, making it the ideal stop on your California road trip. Laguna Beach is the kind of place that you really must see to appreciate, and once you do, you will be completely awestruck by its magnificence. Yet, Laguna Beach is much more than just a pretty place to gaze at. There are more than 100 works of public art dotted across town, demonstrating the community's undeniable love of the arts. These pieces may be found both inside the several galleries that line PCH and outside on the streets. There is also a strong appreciation for the local fauna and plants. The town is home to many wildflower-filled coastal parks, including one of the last intact coastal canyons in Southern California, and whale watching is a valued pastime. It also houses the headquarters for the rescue and rehabilitation of the Orange County Coast Seal population. And there you have it, the 10 best places to visit in California. We hope you enjoyed learning about the 10 best places to visit in California. 
We would love to hear about your experiences and any other places you recommend. Leave a comment below and let us know. Also, if you are interested in additional information and other things that can help you in your travel adventures, check out links in the description below. Be sure to like this video and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to Top 10 Travel and be notified when our weekly videos become available. We'll see you in the next one and happy and safe travels.